It was an entirely different kind of fire alarm. A man and a woman are under arrest tonight for stealing a SAC Metro fire engine and leading officers on a wild chase spanning four counties. Because we were trying to get some help. That fire engine chase lasted more than two hours. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Large. SAC Metro Fire just released new video from that helicopter pursuit showing the scene. And you can see down there on the ground the fire engine in front of several squad cars. That is along Highway 65. The chase started in Sacramento County where fire crews were tending to a brush fire. It ended in Butte County near Oroville. CBS 13's Mark Thompson was there along the way. He's live in Marysville. And Mark, you actually spoke to the suspects tonight. Steve, yes, I did. And just wait until you hear what they have to say about all of this. We are live in Marysville, just one of the towns that the two suspects drove through in that stolen fire engine. And CHP says it is truly fortunate that no one was hurt. Tires blown and rutted in an inclined ditch, their two hour joyride ending here on Highway 70, just north of Oroville. The engine stealing suspects in custody, but choosing not to remain silent. We thought Hollywood just. All right, here you go. You want to drive? Take off. The pursuit began in Sacramento County. Metro Fire working a brush call off Elkhorn Boulevard when a firefighter noticed a strange man in one of their engines. You wouldn't expect that. So when he noticed that somebody was on the engine and then it took off, we did what we had to do in terms of reporting it. And the chase was on. The man stopping to pick up a female about a mile down the road, then driving, weaving their way in the fire engine on Highway 65 and 70 through Sacramento, Placer, and Yuba counties, detouring through Marysville, several agencies joining in. Five stop sticks deployed, but the suspects didn't stop. And he eventually lost the right front tire of the fire truck, rolled it for probably a half an hour, 45 minutes on a rim until it got up to this large incline. So why did they do it? Because we were trying to get some help. The man says they were desperate. Get us to a hospital, get us to a psych ward, get us some shoes. He kidnapped me. He forcefully made me get in the truck with him. And he said he needed mental health help or he was going to kill me. But CHP says the pair acted together, the female suspect choosing to go along from the very start in Sacramento. The officer's witnessing her running from a house into the fire truck, so we know now that she's a willing participant. Even taking turns behind the wheel, police say. As for the true engine operators, Metro Fire says lesson learned. It is a shock, and it does uh, make all of us uh, look at our operations, and uh, mostly we're just happy that the community was safe. And CHP says that there were a few minor fender benders involving that stolen fire engine along the way, but nothing serious. And they have yet to release the official names and identities of those two suspects and what charges they may face in all of this. Steve, back there's going to you. be a lot of questions that come out of this one, and starting with how they were able to get inside that fire engine and how they were able to drive it, knowing that they had no training. You were up close uh, next to that fire engine. That's a pretty expensive piece of uh, machinery. I suppose the damage was was pretty bad. Yeah, very significant, Steve. And they say they placed five stop sticks along the way, but the suspects just kept driving because they weaved around those stop sticks into oncoming traffic at several points. But it finally uh, came to an end when they just couldn't make it up that steep incline off of Highway 70 because they were driving on a rim at that point, Steve. But uh, Metro Fire says they're going to be reviewing their policies. No doubt about that. Mark Thompson with an incredible story live tonight in Marysville and of course lots of people in the path of this pursuit had their cell phone cameras out and caught some of the action people pulled out those phones along the pursuit route and started shooting video of this hours long chase videos and pictures show the long line of police vehicles following that fire engine now if breaking news is happening in your area if you can do so safely send us pictures and video on Facebook Twitter and Instagram at CBS Sacramento